What is guys, Tyler once again, and I'm coming at you guys with another content of Cooking and Kingdom. In this video, I will be updating you guys on the PvE or the story mode tier list that you guys have been waiting for after the release of Coco Cookie as well as the addition of Kumio Cookie's buff. I wanted to update you guys and show you guys exactly what I think about the story mode as of right now. Anyways guys, if you guys find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the like button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys don't miss out on any future Cooking and Kingdom videos as well as live streams that I do on YouTube. Anyways guys, with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So before we get started, I just want to let you guys know once again that this tier list is going to be based on my opinion and from my personal experience playing this game. I've beaten both the regular 12-30 as well as dark mode 12-30 and I've pretty much beaten all of the story mode with 3 stars. So I do have some experience with beating uh, different stages in this game. That is pretty much where this tier list is going to be based off of from my personal gameplay as from what I've tried out from different accounts that I've constantly played on anyways guys let's get right into it so starting off i am going to be continuing the kind of style that i've done with the pvp tier list where i'm going to be showing you guys the previous pve tier list uh, that was from november 2021 and i'll be just adjusting some of the cookies that i feel like they need adjustment and of course that's going to include the new cookie that has been released into the game which in this case is going to be Coco Cookie. Anyways, guys, let's get right into it. So Coco Cookie is definitely going to be, I believe, at least A+. I don't think Coco Cookie is definitely like an S rank or SS rank for PvE. There's definitely a lot better cookies like Strawberry Crepe, Dark Choco, as well as Hollowberry, uh, even Pumpkin Pie, Cotton. They're just so much better in this sense. I feel like she is um, very similar to a moon rabbit in this case when it comes to a story mode yes both moon rabbit and coco cookie are defense cookies coco cookie has stun immunity as well as moon rabbit has a skill that is unique where if you kill the enemy then it will heal the entire team with rice cakes all right so i feel like they're kind of uh, in a very similar state they're not like super super good in the story mode but they're still very viable and can be usable inside of the game all right so I, I feel like she is going to be a very strong cookie in certain stages like 11 12 11 20 where you pretty much could get stun locked as well as some of the stages in world 9 where there are those waffle bot with like two la uh, two spears or the lancers uh, who will stun your uh, team then definitely uh, Coco Cookie could work out against those kind of stuns as well. And I just want to say, I, I really feel like Coco Cookie is good. But in the story mode, she's not as strong or viable as she would be in Arena. So I feel like an A plus rank is very good for uh, Coco Cookie in this case. And if you guys disagree with me, you guys can let me know as well. I don't think Coco Cookie is like a cookie where you have to say like, Oh, you have Coco Cookie? but you have strawberry crepe or hollowberry oh you better upgrade coco cookie it's not like that definitely if you have strawberry crepe or hollowberry i would recommend you of course invest in hollowberry or strawberry crepe rather than going for coco cookie first so that is the reason why i am putting coco cookie in a plus and on top of that she does not auto attack if you guys did not know that already she will be only healing three of your lowest hp cookie and the healing is not like super super amazing or anything like that it's just there for an extra like sustain you definitely cannot work with only coco cookie just like how you can't work with only moon rabbit in the story mode all right so that's going to be the first cookie that i'm going to be adjusting uh, for the tier list all right so moving on to the next cookie is going to be squid ink i actually put squid ink at a tier but i think squid ink is actually able to move up to a plus tier squid ink is really 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 strong and I think we kind of underrate the power of squidding, all right? So I, I, I feel like squidding kind of deserves a little bit more. Not only is squidding able to transform into a giant squid and slap the uh, heck out of the field, but, you know, you're not taking any damage during that state, as well as you, you just have a huge area where you pretty much cannot miss uh, the damage. So I kind of feel like Squid Ink does deserve a little bit of a boost, although from A tier to A plus tier. So yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you guys because I feel like Squid Ink is a little bit stronger 
than any of the other AOE damage dealers that we have uh, currently going on like espresso latte uh, pastry uh, mango as well as snow sugar snow sugar is kind of like you know just you summon snow king and then deal constant damage so I feel like squid ink is a little bit stronger in that sense so that's the reason why I'm bringing squid ink from A tier to A plus tier for the story mode all right guys so the next cookie I'm gonna talk about is going to be herb cookie I put herb cookie A plus tier but I feel like herb cookie it deserves an A tier in my opinion now uh, there's just so many better cookies right now that are super super good in healing like cotton parfait even mint choco is gonna de gonna do a decent amount of healing compared to herb because of the fact that you're constantly moving in the story mode i feel like herb is losing a lot of the heal that he could be doing if the team was standing still and of course with the buff that custer cookie the third got i feel like you know herb is a is going to be good to use but you definitely can use other cookies in his place to uh, fulfill that healer role so i feel like herb cookie kind of is falling off a little bit if i feel like they should buff his uh, or kind of adjust his healing so that there is no area so that there is no area restriction and definitely if that is the case then he'll become a lot better inside of the story mode but right now i feel like because of that area restriction I don't think herb deserves that a plus tier and of course the last cookie that we are going to talk about is going to be kumio cookie and kumio cookie was last place in c tier but now i want to bring up kumio cookie all the way to a plus tier not only is she going to be doing a ton of extra damage and will be doing damage to up to five enemies and the attack is really really strong too if you guys didn't realize that but on top of all of that when she does charm the enemies which she'll 100% she'll do it unless she gets stunned in the middle of it but if she is able to charm the enemy she is going to be causing that 20% defense reduction all right just like how dark choco does it but the thing is that it's not as often as dark choco and that's the reason why i'm not putting kumio at s tier is because she is going to have a little bit longer time before she's able to use this skill again because she needs to stay in that transformation get off of the transformation and then wait until the cooldown of the skill is over before she is able to cast a charm once again to cause that 20 percent defense reduction and if you're trying to compare the defense reduction with dark choco and kumio definitely by the time dark choco is able to cast about three to four times kumio is only able to cast about two times so that's the reason why dark choco is still going to be pretty much the top defense cookie when it comes to epic class and you definitely can deal with the bosses a lot more often and a lot easier than when you're using kumio cookie but definitely kumio cookie does deserve at least an a plus tier in my opinion for the story mode as well because the charm is also really really good preventing your enemies from attacking and then on top of that she is able to deal a ton of damage with her auto attack and then that extra 20 percent defense reduction anyways guys that's gonna be it for this tier list everything else is pretty much the same there really isn't anything and if you guys are wondering why I'm still putting Frost Queen at S tier, it's because she cannot deal with bosses, okay? So if you're using Frost Queen for stages like 830, 10-31, 10, uh, 10 9-30, um, 11-30, 1127, 1123, 1230, anything like that, Frost Queen cannot stun the enemy and she's going to be missing out on a lot of these extra damage. That's the reason why I'm putting Frost Queen at S tier. Sea Fairy, yes, she doesn't do a ton of single hit damage, but still her whole entire skill damage goes through. That's why she's still a top notch. And I'll just have to say, just because of that fact that she's not able to target the bosses and deal a ton of damage to the boss, that pretty much brings down uh, Frost Queen from SS tier to S tier. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this tier list. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you guys did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the like button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys don't miss out on any future Cookie and Kingdom videos as well as live streams that I do on YouTube. And also, don't forget, if you guys do disagree with anything or even agree with anything, leave it down in the comments below so you can let me know your thoughts and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And I also do want to thank everybody who have participated and commented on my PvP tier list. I'm 
still looking through them. I'm always going through my YouTube analytics, so don't worry, guys. I'm constantly watching and reading your comments whenever I can. And also, I just want to thank you guys once again for always supporting this channel. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you guys all next time.